Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80s one for extra So today guys, I want to do this video topic for you guys and maybe this could be a future debate show on the channel guys What is the best superhero movie of all time now? I'll be completely honest with you guys right here. I haven't seen all the superhero movies So I feel like I maybe shouldn't do this video But the thing is I've already got my main mindset and I'm fairly certain that if I watch the remainder all the super movies out there in the world right now as of september 27 2023 my opinion won't change because this movie for me is iconic it's very special and it's going to be very hard to top this movie in a long time there is one movie that could maybe top it and i'll discuss later on the video but the, this movie for me is my personal favorite and that is spider-man 2 this movie is phenomenal like it is amazing to watch and i think this movie for me it's crazy because this movie, I believe, was made 2004, I want to say. I want to, I'm going to fact check that uh, later. But um, for me, the fact that it's made that long ago, and we're still in 2023, shows how well this movie has lived up. Because the issue with the nowadays recent movies is that I feel like a lot of nowadays, the movies are more geared towards action sequences and that kind of stuff. Which is obviously great. Uh, you know, obviously, people like to see it. But true fans of superhero movies really care about the characters themselves. The character is actually more important than the hero themselves. That might seem odd to say, and it might seem strange, but I actually think it's true. Because at the end of the day, these superheroes are still human beings. These superheroes still go through human daily activities. They still go through their daily lives. It's just that they have this superhero thing and they have to save people and do stuff. And, you know, fight against evil guys. That's pretty much the difference. Because other than that, their life is pretty much the same. So, why does this movie feel so special to me? Because a lot of people would argue this movie is not that great in terms of action sequences. But for me, I really like this movie because this movie has a right amount. It doesn't overdo it. Okay? And if you and for me, there is one action sequence in the se movie... That I really, really enjoy. And I don't think any other movie in the future will ever top this. And that is the train sequence. The train sequence for me is the one of the best things. I always, every once in a while, always play this train sequence on YouTube. I always play it. I always watch it on the big screen my downstairs TV. And I occasionally watch it because of how crazy it is. How brilliant the execution is. How Peter Parker and Doc Ock are fighting against each other. And a train. It's such an odd. You know, because nowadays, fights usually just happen at random places. And for me, I don't see a lot of things happen in the train. And that's what makes this scene so special, is that it's different. It's unique. Okay, name me any other fight, name me any other train sequence movies with fighting that is this memorable. I can guarantee you there isn't any. And if there is, it's not as memorable as Spider-Man 2 1. This is the most memorable scene, you know. And there are a lot of iconic scenes in this movie. You know, look at the, for instance, um, when Doc Ock got his arms. That was iconic. It's scary. A lot of people probably don't like it because of how, you know, it almost feels like a horror movie in a sense. But I think it's necessary because it just shows how destructive the arms can be and how much of a danger threat can it can be to society. You know, how it can actually kill people, as we've seen in that scene. And I just feel like for me, I really like Doc Ock as a villain. Is he as good as Green Goblin? Probably not. Green Goblin will always be more iconic. But I would say this villain actually has better motivations than um, Green Goblin. I would actually argue that I like his backstory more than the Green Goblin's backstory. You know? And I think it's interesting. And what I love about this movie so much is that the center, the main thing in this movie is about Peter himself. How he has to battle through his own personality. How he has to deal with things. Responsibility. Which is a huge part of growing growing up. When you grow up, you have to get respon you have to become responsible. It's one of the big lessons. And I think this is a great takeaway for young kids who are watching this, teenagers who are watching this. Responsibility is one of the most important things in the world. And I think it shows how Peter Parker was immature and once he loses his powers, he gains responsibility. His life gets a whole lot better. It goes amazing. And then he realizes that it's not all smooth sailing. You know, and I just feel like for me, this movie does a great job of handling Peter Parker himself. How is to go through everything, relationship issues, you know, then his own issues as well, responsibility, him being Spider-Man, you know, people talking about, you know, 
fighting crime. There's a lot to do. And I like this movie because I haven't seen many movies go in this kind of area. Many movies just have this a lot of fighting sequences and you're supposed to enjoy it when in reality it all feels like the same. It doesn't really feel special. And that why this is why I think this movie is amazing because this movie is amazing. I just love how you know Peter Parker goes through a lot in this movie. And like I said before guys, as I said begin in the beginning of this video I believe, this movie doesn't really have a lot of action sequences. In fact, I think Spider-Man actually has more action sequences in, in that movie and Spider-Man 3 probably does as well. But the reason why I like this movie the most is because this movie feels very different. It feels special. It doesn't really feel like a movie. It feels like I'm watching a story. It feels very much different, you know? And that's what I love about this movie. And I think this movie is a fantastic movie. It's very well done. I really enjoy this movie. Now, remember I said earlier in the video, I said there is one movie that can maybe rival it in terms of being one of the best super movies of all time. That is The Dark Knight. And I might do a separate video for The Dark Knight in the next week. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. In fact, let's do this, guys. Let's do this as a good challenge. If we could get 10 likes in this video, I will do a Dark Knight video next week. Okay? It's as simple as that. If we can get 10 likes in this video, I will do a Dark Knight video, guys. So smash like button, guys, if you guys want to see that. And you have to do it by next week, guys, October 4th at 8 20 p.m guys so i'm giving you guys a week to do so and if you guys don't do it there won't be a dark knight video so guys hit that like button guys hit that like button and guys maybe we can have this as a great discussion point for the next live stream maybe for a future debate show which movie is better spider-man 2 or dark knight because i really like both movies i really love both movies but i have i'm slightly leaning towards spider-man 2 and so maybe we can get someone to represent dark knight maybe Matt's. uh Matt's is a good friend of mine he's loved the dark knight trilogy and he, um, I think it would be a great correspondent. And maybe we can have a debate show, guys. Me versus Matt. So if you guys also want to see that, let me know in the comments below. I like this, guys. I'll be doing a video next week about the Dark, dark Knight, of course, if this video does well. Remember, this video has to get 10 likes. So, like I said, let me know any uh, major talking points I missed in the comments below. What you love about Spider-Man 2, guys. And um, like I said, guys, hit that like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button as well, guys. And yeah, comment below your thoughts. Comment below if I miss any major talking points. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.